everyone, I'm at uh, Buffalo Trace Distillery and I'm cooking on a Oklahoma Joe's Rider Deluxe. And we are going to make today a smoked beef short rib, uh, which is one of my favorite things to eat in the world. This is such a Kentucky Southern dish. It's got all the sort of iconic Southern ingredients. Um, obviously bourbon, we're cooking with bourbon today. Pickled okra, which is like one of my favorite things ever. And it, it's gonna go great with the beef short ribs. Uh, peaches, which are like the most iconic southern fruit. Um, mints, and, and I'm throwing some fennel in there as well for to, to lighten the dish up. I'm using the competition pellet because it's got a nice, even sort of flavor. Um, it uses everything. It's got hickory, maple, oak, and it's going to complement that beef flavor really nicely. The, the rich beef flavor is going to come out. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is make sure that my grill is up to temp. You might have to uh, uh, adjust it later, but I'm going to start it at... 225 and we're gonna go from anywhere from 10 to 12 hours with this you want it to be soft and tender um, but not completely falling apart you want to still a little bit of bite to it this is how simple this is all I'm gonna do is salt and pepper and and just the the meat side of it and when I say salt and pepper like a good amount of salt and pepper I'm using a good almost a full tablespoon of salt and then pepper I'm keeping the rub really simple because once we smoke this, I'm gonna glaze it with a peach bourbon glaze. And I want that to be the flavor. So I, 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 I don't want the bourbon to compete with a bunch of spices. And then I really will kind of rub it in, make sure it really sticks to the meat. All right, so now that we're at 225, I wanna load the smoker with my beef short ribs. And that's basically it, 225, for about five, six hours, check it. I, I would bring it down to about 220 afterwards um, and then just check it every hour after that. All right, it's been about 10 hours or so on my Rider Deluxe. I'm gonna check my ribs. So I'm just gonna pull them right off the rack here. I'm actually gonna turn my heat up for the next phase of our recipe. This is perfect. You've got that nice caramelized bark on the outside um, and it looks really overcooked, but if you open it up, it's beautiful and juicy and tender and it literally will just fall apart in your hands. Hmm, that is really good. So I wanna set this aside a little bit. And, um, I'm going to make my accompaniment. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of bourbon to my pot. And I'm going to add peach jam or marmalade, depending on where you are, and a little cube of butter. All right. And that's it. I'm just going to mix that up. And I'm going to warm it up. And then the next thing I want to do is cut up my vegetables. With the peaches, you actually want ones that are not completely ripe. If they're too soft, they're just going to fall apart on the grill. Uh, and I'm just going to cut them into about fours, make nice thick wedges. Then I'm going to take a, a, a nice bulb of fennel, cut off the stems, cut off that knob at the end. And then really all I'm going to do with this is just cut it in half. Yeah, maybe I'll cut it one more. Cut it in quarters. All right. Toss that together. A little bit of salt. Just a pinch of pepper. And I'm going to toss it all in a little bit of olive oil. All right, so I'm going to check my glaze now. It's great. Simmering lightly. The butter is melted. Beautiful. So, I want to glaze or mop my barbecue. Go right over the top. You got to be pretty liberal with it. Now, I'm going to throw my beef short ribs back on here. I'm on sear mode, so the grill is really hot. So I don't want to keep it on there too long. I'm really just rewarming the meat, making sure the glaze sticks nicely onto the short ribs. Now, quickly, at the same time, 
I want to grill up my peaches and fennel. Um, I'm not going to close the door. I'm just going to watch it carefully. The nice thing about the Reiner Deluxe is if it really gets too hot and you feel like you're burning it, um, you can quickly just transfer over to the smoke mode and that immediately kills the direct heat. Whenever we're grilling, we so often think about meats, but we forget about all the array of fruits and vegetables that we can also grill that are delicious. Like to me, a grilled peach, uh, is like, it's like the perfect expression of summer. That's a beautiful sear. Two nice portions of this. I'll land it there. I'm gonna take a little bit extra of this peach glaze. Add a little bit more on the side so you can dip and dunk your meat. And then really we're going to just throw some of these beautiful peaches and just like a little mound of fennel and peaches on the side. Last but not least, nothing better than a little bit of pickled okra. All right, so here it is. Smoked beef short ribs, peach bourbon glaze, a little bit of grilled veggies and fruits, and pickled okra. There's smokiness coming from the glaze. There's smoke, obviously, from the beef short ribs. It all works. The fruit kind of, you know, matches the saltiness of the beef, and the pickles just brighten everything up.